Hey there guys, I'm outside, so you'll have to forgive noises from the neighbors and the other neighbors' dogs going insane. But uh, I wanted to do a follow-up on the uh, Radiate portable campfire that I bought. You guys remember this thing, right? Well, as you can see, I kind of rigged it to be carryable. But that's not the only thing I did to it. I pulled out everything that was in this thing and threw it into a fire, which made a really big fire. But to try and upgrade this thing and make it actually usable, I uh, put a few sticks, obviously, some paper, and underneath here is a bed of, uh, of charcoal briquettes. So uh, we'll see if this works out any better. And, of course, I have more wood to put on it, but I wanted this to actually be a portable campfire. So let's see how we do. Alright. And, of course, the whole thing's doused in, uh, in charcoal lighter fluid. So we'll see how fast this goes up. And, no, I'm not going to be using a fire flint to light it because, well, if you're this prepared, you have a lighter. I mean, come on. The whole idea of the charcoal briquettes is to, uh, you know this is going to burn down fast, so even in that matter, you should have a hotbed of coals fairly quickly. It's going up fast, but let's see if the things that need to catch, catch. Looks like a fire. A really little one. But also, I want to try and cook on this thing, and... See if I can do it without getting soot everywhere. Uh, funny little anecdote, when I took this thing on the last camping trip, I uh, almost burnt down the forest because a little bit of rain came by, splashed on that hot wax, and sent it going everywhere. So, when you buy this thing outright, I, I wouldn't. It was totally useless at that first iteration. Let's save you some time here. But here we go. We got it going. Did a little stirring. Threw in a little bit of wood. Just, you know, nothing bigger than your first finger. That big. But if you're going camping and you don't have a fire ring and you want a small fire, this looks like it's working out, but I'm going to do some further testing here in a second. But uh, what I would suggest if you want to make one of these of your own is get a uh, tin of those dry ass biscuits from Britain. I think they're Tully's or something like that. The, uh, you know. Your grandmother makes them into uh, sewing kits all the time. You know, those, just those round tins. And do the same. Just throw in a uh, small, coal, or small coal bed down there with uh, briquettes, a little bit of paper, and some small wood, and you got yourself a fire for a little bit. I mean, if you're uh, going camping and hammock camping, this would be perfect for you. Well, we've got a fire. Let's see if we can do anything with it. Here we have a bottle of water. Which is now a tea kettle.
see how long that takes that to boil. Don't worry, I'm not going to hold it on the whole time, but I will add some wood. find out if it boils or if it peters out. Okay, I was really hoping to see better performance than this. As you can see, all my flames petered out. But, thanks to those uh, briquettes, I still have a really hot coal bed in a very short amount of time. So let's see if I can do some cooking on those. Unfortunately, I had to cheat a little bit. So it looks like this thing has some engineering feats that I would still need to deal with if I want to take this thing camping. But the whole idea of a portable campfire I don't think is a bad one. It's just trying to implement it to where it's portable. Well, boiling 16 ounces of water was a no-go. But with those coals still burning nice and warm, I do have another idea. See if we can't cook a couple hamburgers. Well, we're slowly getting there. The lack of light kind of gives me a lack of confidence, but all those coals are holding heat, so let's see how this pans out. Well, it's slowly but surely doing it. So, I guess if you want to take this thing camping, it my recipe was probably a half-assed good way of doing it. I don't don't know what you want to do differently. Maybe a little less paper, more uh, more drenched wood with uh, with the fuel. But uh, you know, experiment. Do what you want to do, and uh, we'll see how these turn out check on these bad boys now these I want to make sure are all the way done because I made a big F up last night and uh, well I left the meat out to thaw and went to bed not my proudest moment it was room temperature when I made these so I want to make sure I cook the crap out of anything that might be living in there well that helped anyway angry orchard unfiltered can't really be a cookout without some kind of alcohol right The bad thing is with this particular kind of hamburger is it doesn't pack down very well. So you can't just go by firmness. But it did cook it. So I guess uh, if you uh, do want to take this thing camping, it's not a bad idea. Maybe drill some vent holes in it, but that would get messy once you start to carry it around. But it is kind of like having a portable fire ring. It was just an experiment. Hopefully you guys, uh, I don't know, if you guys want to try it, try it. If not, you know, I don't care. <laughs>